Hello guys and welcome to the Biz Pixel channel. And I am Biz Pixel. <laughs> All right, it's been a while. I've been doing a lot of things uh uh especially trying to get into the military and everything, but um so today I'm going to do something a little differently. Um instead of doing 30 minute videos, we're going to do uh about 15 minute videos instead. Uh, we're gonna try something a little differently since people I've uh, seen in the comments don't really watch 30 minute videos but they more likely will watch a 10 or 15 minute video so we're gonna cut those down so um, today what we're gonna talk about is uh, boundaries so as you know um, the last video I've showed you guys how to do backgrounds so today um, we're gonna do um, boundaries so you, your character won't fall off the screen. All right, so we're gonna hop on in. Um, I'm gonna go to objects. I'm gonna go to OBJ player underscore player. Okay, so what else we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a end step event. I'm gonna go down to control. We're gonna go down to code. We're gonna do execute code. I'm going to drag and drop into the actions of the end step event. And then, as you know, this is how you name your um, your uh, your codes, your, um, your execute codes, once, every time you put the three slashes. So, um, we're going to just call this uh, room boundary control. So, what we're going to do is going to make a variable called pad all right as you know pad the variable pad will be basically a placeholder for a certain number so we're going to put pad equal 12 so that variable pad will be 12 so wh what i did was that um actually we might do 16 instead so what this do does is that uh this is gonna cut down this is basically um from your character since it's 32 by 32 we're going to cut down that to half which is about well, 16. So that, that's what you want to do you're going to cut your uh, character down by in half so in order for the, you the code to work properly or you could um customize this code to a, a lower number so that your character is um within that boundary so basically this is your boundary control and I'll show you guys an example um, after I've done this. So if x pad x equal pad if x is greater than room width minus pad I'm going to explain to you guys what this all means shortly um, x room with minus pad alright so basically I hate this crap Let me just go back here. Um, X equal. Uh, so basically, your end step event basically says after your step updates at the end of that step, basically the code is executed. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys. Um, what does that do? So we just click the check and then we just play it real quick. I'm gonna show you guys. All right. See, as you can see here, that, um, whoops, did I do something wrong here? As you can see here, that it actually created the boundary the opposite way. 
So instead, I can't move to the right, but I can move to the left. So I just created myself an imaginary boundary. Let's go back to the code and see what I did. Oh, my fault. I, uh, why I do that? My fault. I don't know why I did that. Let's go back and see. So basically, as you guys know, if you switch the, the greatest sign, equal sign is much different. All right. So um, if I try to go out, I can't go out anymore. And as you can see that the character is like at least 12 pixels to the right from the corner of that room. So if you want to lower that down, what you want to do is um, you could go back to your room boundary um, code. You could set that to 12 and you'll get closer to the edge. So let me show you and see how about that. See? Now you're a little bit closer. And now, so we're going to lower this down by about four more. Eight. See if that works. See if that works a little better. Bam! Even a little closer to the back, the, from the um, room. So, um,. Let's put that as 10. I think 10 is a little better. So let's play that again. Nah, I think 12 is the perfect number. <laughs> so you just, exactly, you just keep playing around with the number. And bam, I think, yeah, 12 is it's the magic number, or you can pick 11, whatever you guys want to choose. All right, so for the y okay so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna copy this so you're gonna highlight this and then you're gonna put control c whoa whoa whoa, whoa. i do you're gonna just copy that and then you're gonna replace all the x's with y's instead all right so this would prevent you from um falling off the damn screen so it's the same way as the x it will be this for the same way for the y okay um let's basically basically make your character float from the bottom of your screen um in case if you guys don't want that and you want the character to to like fall and die i'll just give you a simple code that you can put in your step event okay um so we're gonna go to step event, we're gonna go to Big's movement. And then we're gonna go down to um I'm just gonna call this uh probably uh Big's death. I said bits. I'm still thinking about my um uh my game I'm still developing. So this is just the code I'm gonna just show you guys. It's not I don't I didn't implement this yet. I haven't showed you guys about uh, global variables anything like that but um um i'm just gonna show you guys just in case if you want to implement it so if y which is if your y is greater than the room height and for example you could go like a uh, global hp minus ego 100 and this will basically just like global HP will basically be your variable so if I code come to my create event and I put global HP ego 100 So basically now my character has the way of global HP. I didn't give you global HP in action yet. But um I'll give it to you right now actually just to end it. So if global HP is equal to zero instance destroy, which will destroy 
your instance, which would be basically your whole uh, character. So, in order for this to work, though, you must go back to your end step event, and you must take this out. Or you could just do the slashes. Um, so basically that um, when your character falls off the screen and since your cam camera is bounded to the room itself to a certain dimension, if your character falls off out of that, um, out of the room, excuse me, and the camera can't follow no more because it's bounded to a certain dimension like I told you before, then your character dies. Um, I'll just show you guys. Let's go back to room. Just alt delete. Do we just press play? Bam, your character obviously just disappeared because now that um that the code is being executed when let me show you guys again. When that code is executed, my my um when I fall out the room my global HP goes down to at least one hundred increments per whatever. And um and when that's below when it's when it's equal to zero, the instance is destroyed like you just seen right now. Um, all right. Well, this is what I have to show you guys for today. If you guys think this is useful, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, peace out, baby. <laughs> guys, this is Biz Pixel, and I'm here to give you guys another Mr. Big's tutorial, and I'm here with my guest Lou. Talk about how happy you are, 32. Oh yeah.